Luckily, winds are going to be out of the east today and tomorrow, so it's going to be offshore. You're not going to be getting that overwhelming smell of that red tide if you are going to be walking the beaches in Collier County. So that's some good news there. Let's take a look into the tropics. We have two areas like I was just telling you about. We have tropical storm Raphael, which is basically just meandering in the central part of the Gulf and not going to be bothering us anymore. We also have this area. It's an area of low pressure. It's just about a 10% chance of it forming into something. Models really don't have it getting going all too much thanks to a lot of wind shear that's over the Bahamas right now. But let's take a deeper dive into both of these areas. So again, here's Raphael going to be meandering the next couple of days, eventually pushing down to the south and weakening even more so. And this is just running into a really bad environment. So that's why it's going to be weakening. Again, not bothering us. Now this area, it's just an area of low pressure like I was talking about, 10% chance of formation over the next couple of days. Going to be pushing off towards the west, eventually off towards the north. Now, this isn't going to be looking like it's going to be impacting us all too much. We're talking a little bit more rainfall as we head late Sunday into Monday.